Hi, in this video we'll be looking at the properties of a ribbon microphone. In our case we'll be looking at the AEA R84. A ribbon microphone picks up sound by using a thin metal ribbon between two magnets. Imagine this strip of paper is the ribbon. As sound waves enter the ribbon, the ribbon inside vibrates creating a voltage that relates to the changes in the air velocity. By design ribbon microphones tend to have a figure of eight polar pattern. As the ribbon will pick up sound pressure changes from its two flat surfaces, but very little sound from its thin sides, virtually nulling all sounds from the sides of the microphone. To demonstrate this, we will listen to the signal of the R84 only. This is me speaking into the side of the ribbon. This is me speaking into the front of the ribbon. A ribbon microphone typically has a much more natural sounding frequency response than its condenser or dynamic counterparts. Having a pronounced low end and a high frequency roll off similar to how the human ear hears sound. Ribbons are still susceptible to the proximity effect and in the case of the R84 it achieves a flat frequency response at a distance of one meter from the sound source. The downside to a ribbon mic is that they are very delicate and it is easy to damage the thin ribbon inside the microphone. One thing that can damage the ribbon is phantom power, so you want to make sure that you never send phantom power to the R84. You will also need to be careful when storing the microphone. If it is not kept in its vertical position, the ribbon can wilt out of shape if stored horizontally. It is also advised to keep the mic covered when not in use to avoid dust collecting on the ribbon. The ribbon itself is open to damage from strong gusts of air, for example from a kick drum or from a loud bass amp. If you're recording anything which has the potential to create a large movement of air, make sure you protect the mic with a pop shield. Despite the delicate nature of a ribbon mic, the R84 can handle a surprising 165 dBs of signal so it's suitable for most sources. If you'd like to know more about the R84 or how to use it in certain situations, please come and chat to one of the technicians. Thanks for watching.